Hey YouTube, I'm Zari Ballard and you are listening to the When Love is Alive video blog podcast and watching. Today we are going to talk about how to debunk a narcissist smear campaign. It's pretty easy and you can do it. I'll be right back. Hi everybody, today we are talking about debunking the narcissist smear campaign. People are having a lot of trouble with this. This is what I'm finding in my conversation, so I thought I'd just make a quick video about it. To me, the best defense in defending yourself against a narcissist is no defense at all. Say nothing. Say nothing. Okay, and there's two reasons for this. Okay, one, it automatically puts you in a positive light, a better light, because our worry is what they're saying to everybody out there. Okay, and what they're saying to everybody out there is very negative. Okay, so automatically you defending back against that, it's not going to put you in a, in a, I know it's natural to want to defend, but it just doesn't work in these instances. It's never going to come out right. And the narc is always going to one up you. Think about it. If you know a couple and they've had a volatile relationship and you run into them out, they've broken up and you run into them out and about and one partner does nothing but talk smack about the other one. They bring up the topic, they go into detail, they tell you things you don't want to know, too much information and they go on and on and on. Okay, then later on down the road, you run into the other half and that other half is just like, hey, how you doing? Like acting like nothing happened not even mentioning the narc. And if you try to bring it up, they just say, mm, no, I really don't want to go there and go on to something else, which makes you feel better, okay? But automatically, the partner that refrained from saying anything derogatory about the narc is the one that looks in a better light. The narc can only spew his, non his or her nonsense for so long. People will get sick of hearing about it, which leads me to number two. Don't give them anything to talk about, okay? If you have kids together, when the kids come back from the narc's house, don't mention mom or dad. Don't, don't talk about it. Don't ask questions. Just secure your relationship with your children, okay? Your children will appreciate this. There's nothing you need to be talking about with your kids about the other parent, okay? I've been through that. It's, it's awful. And I made a conscious effort to stop doing it. And my kid turned out pretty great. Okay, and him and I are like this, and him and his dad are not. Okay, and this isn't the, dad, the, the guy in my books, by the way. You don't have to defend yourself, okay, because they're going to be talking about you at church. They're going to be talking about you in a group of people, okay. You don't need to explain yourself or defend yourself to anybody. There's nothing the narc can say that's going to bring you down. And if you give them nothing to talk about, if you don't... Don't give them anything, Don't nothing between the kids. Don't tell a friend, his friend, don't send a message. If you don't give them something to talk about, the people who are going to listen to his same rhetoric over and over and over, his smear campaign against you, are going to get sick of hearing it. And you're not going to have to worry about it. It's going to fade away. I guarantee you that this works. You have to bite your tongue. You know he's talking about you. Okay, it's the best thing, okay, when a friend can run into your ex narc and say, and the narc will say, Oh, I bet she was talking all kinds of crap about me. And that person goes, No, I, actually, she didn't mention you at all. That's what you want. I know it goes against the norm because we want to defend ourselves, but you don't need to. You already know the truth, and so does he. From my last video, that's what I talked about then. Okay, how to deal with a narc. Even this, you know, and that applies even after it is over. So I just want to make a quick video for anybody who's like struggling with it or anything. Don't say anything. It relieves you of the burden of having to explain yourself, okay, or defend yourself. You don't need to defend yourself against an arc at all. I don't even care if he's got money. The people who turn against you or take sides, they're not worth being your friends anyway. Cut the ties that bind. And do it quickly, okay? If you have a friend who likes to give you updates about the narc all the time, then you wipe that friend off your friends list. You give him one chance and say, you know what? I really don't want to talk about that anymore. 
And if that person is your friend, they will not bring it up. Okay? And they will appreciate, your really good friends will appreciate the fact that you're not bringing it up. Okay? And they, they'll stop asking questions and you will, you will re-nurture, recreate your friendships again, the ones that you lost, the ones that disintegrated while you were with the narc. Okay? And he may have even talked smack to them. They're not going to buy it. They're your friends. Okay? You don't have to defend yourself to them. You don't have to do any of that. Not to your employer. Nobody. You, this is where you start weaning out the people in your life. With the smear campaign, this actually does some good. Okay? The people that buy into it are not people you want as friends. Nobody is that important. Nobody is that important that you should feel you have to defend yourself to the narc. About the narc to his words, okay? And the best thing is for somebody to let him know that you haven't mentioned him at all, okay? He doesn't have to know that you're thinking about it, that you heard about it. All he needs to know is you're not talking about him. That will have the most impact because it doesn't give him anything new to talk about. So the best defense with the narc, the best way to debunk a narcissist um, smear campaign is no defense, no defense. And give them nothing to talk about. And it'll work. You watch. It'll work and fast. I guarantee it. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you heard, be sure to share it with your friends on the forums, your social media, and Facebook pages. You can visit me at the narcissisticpersonality.com. My books are available on Amazon and at Smashwords, Kindle Download, and in paperback, also on iTunes and in Audible. I will see you next time. This is Zari Ballard, and this is the When Love is a Lie video blog podcast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.